We're developing the world's best indie game portfolio. It's now my great pleasure to introduce a few of the new additions to the PlayStation family. As we entered last E3, we were amazed that we were invited to be on the stage with the Indie Showcase. And so that was a real wake-up call. It was like, really? You're inviting us to be present in your big show? That was a, a key moment when Sony approached us because, you know, it, the first person to take a chance on you takes the biggest risk. You have a lot of doubts when you're, you're sitting at home making your game. You know, you don't, like, will anybody like this? Will anybody get this? And they kind of shocked me and said, so, you know, what do you think about having the game at E3? And we, I, I laughed. I was like, you got to be kidding. And so for us, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of a console launch. You know, they're unveiling the PlayStation 4. Everything is all these, you know, the huge titles of Destiny and Assassin's Creed 4 and all this stuff. But the fact that they made time for these indies and said, hey, look, there's also this really core, fun new movement of these indie things that a lot of people are really interested in right now. It wasn't like, oh yeah, we're doing indie games as well. They're somewhere on our platform. It was like, no, center stage. These are just as important as any of the AAA titles that are coming out on our platform. Like, here are these amazing games. It's really expanded our presence internationally in ways that we never had hopes of before. It helps a lot to have a partner like Sony to put us out there and give us this kind of uh, visibility. So as a developer, to see that type of support, when you see that an entity that is enormous, like Sony, that has the exposure and the reach that they have, is willing to give you a spotlight, even for a couple of minutes, on a title that they didn't pay, that they don't have special royalties on, that they don't own a piece of your company, that they really have no vested interest beyond making sure your games are good, pleasing their audience that's buying their systems. It made us uh, feel like we were onto something and we're on the right track if uh, Sony was able to notice us. I think we came out with just renewed energy. Uh, to, to work on the game and to finish it out and, and to make it the best possible experience it could be on a PlayStation 4. For us, that was a turning point where it re-injected a bunch of momentum into the project because all of a sudden we had support for a lot of things that we just didn't know how we were going to deal with. The biggest thing for us was the ease of bringing our PC game to the PS4. Um, the architecture and everything made it really easy for us to bring it over. I was surprised how much of the actual tools were just ready to go and easy to work with. It was all pretty much there for us to hit the ground running, essentially. Our lead engineer was actually shocked. I mean, the game was technically running in one day, which he thought he had, you know, kind of ballparked a couple of weeks. But the game was functioning in a day with the Unity stuff on PlayStation 4. For us, the um, PS4 hardware is really good because we wanted 60 frames per second and 1080p resolution. It is a powerful machine, and we were really happy about the performance of it. There's no gatekeeper to you getting your game out now. It's just, you know, it's just another platform that you can easily put your game out. And if it's a good game, it's gonna it's gonna do well, and it's it's a good game. And I think uh, every, in the end, everybody wins because uh, players get a wide range of options in terms of games, and us developers, uh, we are allowed to uh, make different kind of uh, genre and try stuff. There's this clear shift in the industry now where there aren't any more of these middle tier developers providing these unique experiences. The indie developers are all kind of taking over that space. And clearly Sony early on recognized the importance of that. It's evening the playing field so that it's not here's AAA, here's indie, here's this, here's that. It's just these are all good or bad games. And here's a whole bunch of great games on our platform. From the development community, what we really saw happening inside of Sony was that there was this simple redefining of what it was all about. And in that, it was like, who builds great games? Why don't we enable them as much as we can, facilitate them so people that build great games can build them for our audience. PlayStation.